Hi, I'm Paula Moore. I'm the Chief Shooting Instructor here at Orvis San Denona. And today I'm going to be doing a lesson with Aaron and Dan. And we're going to start off by going over some gun safety. We have two 28 gauge over and under break action guns here in the rack. That's what they're going to be using today. If I were to walk up to this rack, I would assume one or both of these guns could potentially be a loaded gun. We always want to treat any gun that we don't know about as if it were loaded. Err on the side of being extra cautious. You're going to pick the gun straight up out of the rack. This lever on the top is called the tang. Press it to the right. The gun opens up. If there was any ammo in there, it'd be on the floor. Barrels down, facing forward. This gun is called an over and under. It's one barrel over the other. It's a break action gun hinged in the middle. The appropriate way to carry an over and under is like this over your arm, or you can also put it up on your shoulder, which I prefer. It's a more comfortable, balanced method. I have complete control of the gun. The one thing we never want to see, whether it's out in the field or on the course, is this. You know it's an empty gun. The people behind you don't. It's bad etiquette, and we don't want to be that person. So all guns, whether it's a rifle, handgun, or a shotgun, are equipped with a safety. A safety is a mechanical device that prevents the gun from being fired. That being said, we never take it for granted that that little device is going to save you and point a gun in an unsafe direction or at anything you don't intend to shoot. The safety on this gun is located right here. When it's pulled down, you can see a little S there. That means the safety is engaged or on. To, in, to disengage it, it's simply press it forward and it's ready to fire. To replace the gun to the rack, it's simply a reverse process. I like to face the rack facing away from people. Bring the gun up with it still broken. Anybody who walks by know this is a safe, empty gun. Close it up. Turn it so the trigger is facing you and set it back in the rack. 